Good morning, everyone. I wish I could be with you this morning, but weather is keeping me in DC. I hope that through this video, you'll catch my enthusiasm for this kickoff of the Gigabit Community Fund here in Kansas City. I first want to take a moment to thank all of those who have worked behind the scenes to make this event possible. The entire Mozilla team for all their efforts in bringing everyone together for this auspicious event this morning. The Kansas City Public Library for hosting this event. Mayor James and Mayor Holland for their leadership and especially for their vision and dedication towards making gigabit connectivity a reality here. And all the local leaders who are assembled here this morning with the goals of setting an example for the rest of the nation. I think we all recognize that we're at the center of an ongoing societal transformation. Consider for a moment what happens during an average internet minute. Over 200 million email messages are sent. Over 2 million search queries are made. 30 hours of video are being uploaded and 1.3 million videos are being viewed. 47,000 apps are being downloaded. That may be conservative. 100,000 new tweets, 700,000 Facebook status updates. Of course, these numbers are increasing. We are witnessing an explosive growth in data, connectivity, sensors, and computational resources. And collectively, this is transforming the way we work, live, play, and communicate. It is in this context that about a year and a half ago, the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy and the National Science Foundation, working with a group of thought leaders from government, industry, and academia, helped establish the U.S. Ignite initiative. With this initiative, we collectively sought to enable a next-generation gigabit-capable network at a national scale in hopes of bringing researchers, students, entrepreneurs, and innovators together to unleash a revolution in ultra-high-speed networking and to catalyze next-generation open-source applications and services on future networks. Now, you may wonder why we at NSF are interested in this. The National Science Foundation has a long history of supporting foundational research to advance the frontiers of computing, communications, and information technologies. Unlike many of our partners in the federal government, we don't have a specific sector-driven mission. Rather, we have a broad agenda of advancing the frontiers of science, education, infrastructure in all fields, yielding novelties that touch and shape our lives and that contribute to our economic well-being. In this spirit, our goal with U.S. Ignite is to leverage our long-standing commitments in infrastructure, notably Genie, and more broadly in areas of software-defined networking, wireless, data analytics, and beyond. Take Genie, for instance. We have worked with the networking research community to build essentially a programmable virtual laboratory or testbed for internet scale experimentation. And now this testbed is laying the technical foundations for US Ignite, allowing us to stitch together islands of broadband in highly innovative universities and cities, and to create a national testbed for distributing content, enabling real-time communication and collaboration in ways that are simply not possible on today's internet. In the case of U.S. Ignite, by partnering with mission agencies like the Department of Education, we have sought to facilitate the research and development of new gigabit applications, digital experiences, and services that have the potential to transform all areas of national priority, including advanced manufacturing, education workforce development, emergency preparedness, energy, sustainability, health, and transportation. It's remarkable to see just how far U.S. Ignite has come in one and a half years' time. You heard from Chris about some of the success stories, and you will see some exciting demos later this morning. But from our perspective, our work is far from over. We're delighted by this kickoff of the Gigabit Community Fund and the Kansas City Mozilla Ignite Hub, which will focus on bringing innovative applications of advanced networking to bear here in Kansas City, particularly in support of learning experiences and workforce development opportunities. We're especially excited about the Kansas City Learning Hive that Mozilla will be catalyzing since it offers the opportunity of citizen engagement in the process of developing and trying out new approaches to local and national problems. And by connecting with the partner city of Chattanooga, we will be able to establish a community of practice and demonstrate for the nation the potential of these ultra-high speed networks. We believe that the resulting apps will give us a glimpse into how we might catalyze the innovation ecosystem to develop the next generation of tools and services with enormous societal benefit. Now, beyond the Gigabit Community Fund, there are other ways NSF is supporting the U.S. Ignite initiative. For example, last summer, NSF issued a Dear Colleague letter calling for relatively small proposals or projects that would develop public sector gigabit applications in areas of national priority. The awards that we make, up to 300 k each for up to two years, support early and potentially transformative research ideas and approaches. To be more concrete, we asked researchers to think about four things. First, 
the area of national priority to which the application will contribute, for example, education workforce development. Two, the scientific and engineering motivation for the proposed effort. Three, the novelty and benefits that might accrue if the application of service were to be deployed. And four, the members of the teams, who they are, and how they'll work together to show results at some level of scale involving anchor institutions, campuses, and cities. Our expectation is that the projects we fund through this Dear Colleague letter will result in novel research paving the way to new applications that showcase the possibilities enabled by gigabit networks. I want to emphasize that we really wish to see in these proposals descriptions of how the app idea will directly impact, for example, education. A concept is great, but we'd like to understand how the curriculum will be impacted, exactly how the app will change the way the students interact and learn, and so on. Additionally, NSF has opportunities outside of U.S. Ignite explicitly that are quite relevant. NSF issues calls for proposals for researchers and practitioners to identify new ideas, advance them through foundational research, and transition them to practice more broadly. Our investments span core areas such as networking, virtualization, middleware, and cybersecurity. They also span cross-cutting activities that intersect with the same national priority areas that I've talked about, including big data. One program of particular relevance is a cyber learning program, which leverages new and emerging technologies to expand and transform lifetime learning opportunities, learning interests, and learning outcomes. So I encourage you, if you're interested, to talk with your colleagues and with your fellow Kansas Cityans to see what synergies there are and what opportunities you have for collaboration. Please feel free to contact me. My email address is kmarzull at nsf.gov and I will point you in the direction of the relevant program manager. On behalf of my colleagues at NSF, we are excited about the progress that's been made from the collaborations involving the public sector, the higher education community, and entrepreneurs and innovators from the private sector over the last year and a half. And we look forward to continuing these collaborations in earnest in the years ahead through the Gigabit Community Fund. The work we are doing through US Ignite is helping lay the groundwork for new enterprises, promote economic growth, improve our citizens, qualities of life, and fortify the foundations for U.S. competitiveness for decades to come. As a famous computer scientist, Alan Kay, once said, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. Through this partnership, we are all indeed inventing the future. Thank you.